Welcome to this co-create demo. We're going to show you very, very quickly how you can set up a project. Uh, you head to my workspace and here you'll see information about what co-create is. Uh, if you're a designer, brand, retailer, if you're anyone who's looking for a new uh, product, whether that be uh, you need a production partner or a fabric supplier, then this is for you. Also for ever all the suppliers who wish to uh, see what projects brands have submitted uh, and send them a proposal. proposal. Uh, this is also for you. You would just click browse projects here. So as we're going to show you how to set up a project, you can click on start your project now uh, and you're taken to this source tab and there's four steps. Uh, the first one is create a project uh, and that should take no more than about five minutes. Uh, we're going to do a very, very quick demo of that uh, and just pull out some, some of the features so that it's super clear for you. Uh, there's two different options at the beginning. You can either choose apparel and accessories or fabric. And then we go into a, a short flow uh, where you select your business profile. Um, you need a live business profile for this. So if you don't have one, you can click here to create one. Create your project name. This could be a, a description of the, the apparel that you're looking for, of the collection. Um, it could be anything, really. So I'm just going to call it T-shirt as an example. You then get to choose uh, to either display your business name on the project uh, or you hide it until you individually grant a supplier access to it. So we're going to display business name on this one. Years in business, different suppliers specialize in working with, with businesses that have been operating uh, for very few years, startups. Uh, and other suppliers uh, work with more established uh, businesses. So this information will help to um, identify which suppliers would be most relevant for you. Uh, you then get taken to this page, which is an overview of the information you'll be putting in. So you can add multiple styles. Uh, you then put in the required services and you go all the way through. And once you've done all of this, as I say, it takes about five minutes. You then submit project. So we're going to add a style here. Uh, and again, we'll just make it very simple. Um, for this example, the more detail you add, obviously, the more helpful it is for suppliers to know if they're a great fit for you. Uh, you then choose the category that you are. So there's lots of different categories here. Um, and if we go down to T-shirts. price point, and then target cost price, which can be a range. You don't have to put this, but this is really, really helpful if, if you do. And we do it in US dollars so that uh, there's just consistency. Obviously, you don't have to uh, stick to US dollars in your conversations with the suppliers once those begin. Number of colorways, quantity per color, and then number of sizes. So all this information helps the supplier to know exactly what you need. Uh, we then go through the other sections here, which just is one page on each. So the first is what we're looking for. We're looking for sampling and production. So we'll tick those. Sustainability practices, which of these are most, most important to me. I'm going to tick fair trade and organic, but there's obviously a, a lot more there that you can select. Any preferred certifications. Um, you can take any of those. And then if you wish, you can put in a target delivery date, uh, any trade terms, you can select those there. If you're looking for a specific region, you can select that. Uh, any compatibility notes you want to add, again, none of this is, is a required field. Uh, a public message is really helpful because this will uh, help the supplier know uh, what it is exactly you're looking for and, and maybe what you stand for. Once you've done that, you click continue, and this is the final section. Uh, you can add any tech packs, any images. Uh, again, this is not compulsory, but obviously is, is very, very helpful for the supplier to be able to see this. This will be hidden uh, until you grant access to an individual supplier. So a supplier has to request access to this. So uh, there is no risk of um, this being seen by people who you don't want it to be seen by, for example. So now that all that's done, the submit project button is orange and we can click it. 
confirm I wish to publish it. Once he published it, it can't be edited. Uh, and now the project is live. So now there are two routes we can go down. Um, we can go down both routes. So the first is browser supplier for this project. So by doing that, so I now land on the pages on common objective that lists all the businesses, all the suppliers, uh, every supplier that has a business profile. And I can look through this and I can click on any of them and see more information. So for example, uh, I could click on this business profile. I could see that their, their portfolio, I could see information about them. I can see what products and services they offer. Uh, I can click if they have any certifications, I can see those. Uh, and I can see their USP and their mission and so on. And if I wanted to send a project to this manufacturer, if I thought they might be relevant for me, I'd click send message. And then if I'm not connected already with this person, I click connect. And so once I click connect, there is an option here, share a project. And I can select that project that I've just set up, write them a message, uh, select I'm sharing a project is the reason for connecting. Once I finish the message, I send requests. That supplier will then get a connection request. And if they accept it, they will have access to your project. So the, that's, one, that's the first route. And the second route is if you go back to my workspace and go to the source tab, this is where your project is, is housed. Um, and from here, you will uh, be able to see if any supplier has sent you proposals. So this will become a clickable link and there'll be the number of proposals that you've been sent. You would click on this once a supplier sent you a proposal and you'd be able to see their proposal uh, information about their business and, and so on. What a supplier sees is this. And when they click on, this is not, um, my project does not appear here. These are all the other projects that we can see that have been submitted by different uh, co-businesses. Um, a supplier will request full access. And once they click on that, you will get a message uh, to grant or deny access. And once you've granted it, they can send you a proposal. And that's when you will see that this view proposals button is it becomes a link and you'll be able to view the proposals. The idea is that's the start of the conversation. You can then um, uh, communicate with them through messages. You can send each other mess. You can send each other messages on common objective. You can go and see my messages uh, and you can uh, have a conversation around exactly what they're going to be supplying you by when and whether they're a great fit for you. This is the start of that journey. Any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch uh, and we hope you find this a hugely valuable tool.